with Kurt Pegler. A month into the high school football season, several area teams look to remain unbeaten tomorrow night. And there are matchups between undefeated teams on the Week 5 schedule. Eureka takes its 4-0 record to unbeaten Clinton. The Hornets have posted back-to-back -back shutouts coming up with big takeaways in both games. And they're doing it on both sides of the football, outscoring opponents 134-31 to in their first four wins. I really do like how we're, where we're taking each week kind of one at a time, kind of being where our feet are, enjoying things when they come up, the good stuff, but then also looking, you know, to try to always get better. So can't be happier with the way they're, they're working right now. And the Hornets are bolstered by the return of this guy, lineman Ryan Fuller, who missed the last two seasons with big injuries. He's got a great story. We share it with you in this week's Extra Effort feature. You can see that right now at our website, ciproud.com. Our high school football game day matchup hits 4-0 Farmington against 4-0 Elmwood Brimfield. We'll have a live preview from the game tomorrow night at 6. You tell us which school has more spirit. Vote at the Spirit Poll, centralillinoisproud.com slash vote, or you scan the QR code on your screen to vote. Farmington with that slight edge, 53-47. The poll closes tomorrow at 5.30. Unbeaten Peoria High plays at Normal West in a key Big 12 football game tomorrow night. But how about the role? The Normal West volleyball team is on. The Wildcats have opened the season on a 16-match win streak. Playing host to Notre Dame and Normal West, Laney Thompson sets up Avery Feltis for that kill. Wildcats loving that one. The Irish fought hard tonight. Maddie Gibson to Emma Schomburg. She's attacking from the left with that kill, but Normal West is now 17-0. Ellie Rink capitalizes at the net with this put away, and the Wildcats win in two sets. Central Catholic tries to run its record to 14-2 tonight. Josie Serta to Aubrey Fair. She comes from the back row for that kill. Two plays later, it's Serta to Campbell Kneepagan, and she's going to make this kill here for the Saints, who are looking good again. Kneepagan buries this one from the right side here to close out our highlights, and the Saints are winners in two. They improved to 14 and two. Good small school matchup, 14 and three. Lexington at 17 and three. El Paso Gridley, Lexington's Vivian Wright to Meredith Grunlow to Jillian Reimer for that finish. But EP Jew had, had its uh, gym rocking tonight. Taylor Langland to Aubrey Phillips and that rocket through the double block. Then Langland to Taylor Reed. She's going to just tip this ball over nicely for an EPG point. Then finally at the net, Abriel Smith with the block and the point and the win for El Paso Gridley in two. Championship day in Middle Illini Boys Golf. Canton playing host of the conference meet at Wematuck. In Canton, it's uh, East Peoria's Connor Watson with a solid round. Nice shot here into the 15th green. He shoots a 72. Dunlap's Nolan Eccles, a 2 under 70. He tied for first with Washington's Gavin Schurz. So they go to a four hole playoff. One by Schurz. He's the medalist and beautiful shot here. He helps Washington win the Middle Line I Conference title. East Peoria is second and Dunlap is third. Beautiful day at Lick Creek and Pekin for the Middle Line I Girls Golf Championship. And this is Pekin's. Cammie Jarvel on her home course with a great shot here at number 11. This rolls right up next to the hole. She was fourth. Her teammate Leah Brown was third. Pekin ties Morton for second place. And Dunlap is your team champion. The medalist is sophomore Sydney Hunt. Great touch here. She shoots an 84. That's four shots better than Metamore's Jillian Tyra. She leads the Eagles to the team title. 